After Nancy and I were married, we had about a year of things being pretty good, and then the problems began. We really had no clue how to do marriage. You know, if we'd done the things that I suggest to you on awesome marriage, would things have been different? Probably. We would have been aware, more aware of things we needed to do different. We might have dated longer before we jumped into marriage. But you know, with all we did wrong, I believe we would still have married. Why? I think there's two reasons. First of all, we both firmly believe that our marriage was God's plan. And second, during those two years of dating, Nancy and I became best friends. And when things got rocky in our marriage, that foundation helped us immensely. The bottom line for each of us was that we did not want to lose our best friend. So when you meet that person who you want to spend the rest of your life with, become best friends. Your first choice of someone to spend time with should be him or her. You should be able to share all your feelings, emotions, questions, doubts, and fears with that person and know that they will fully accept you. Best friends are priceless, and your best friend in this world needs to be your spouse. And remember, friendship is a solid foundation that holds a marriage together.